first fighter at this one from the blue corner is 24 years of age. He stands 170 centimeters tall. From the Fighters Temple in Cyprus with a record of 8, 5, and 2. He loves every second of the fight and can't wait to show it tonight. Nicholas! Go here for round one. First, and you can see the height advantage here, and that southpaw stance for Jordan walking Nicholas down. Light on his toes for a big man and very fast, Jordan. Kick to the lead leg, Jordan Smith switching stances to avoid that very neatly. Smith very loose, very, very relaxed. Looking to work the angles, Chris. Low kick again from Diaco and then Chris, he was very quick on him. Jordan, I think that's gonna be the nature of this opening round. Body, body there as Smith goes to the midsection, connecting to the bread basket with a long knee. One, two from Smith. Counter from Nyaku. Well, that's what Smith has got to watch out for, the counters from Nyaku, the, he Nyaku, the, the heavy punches. If he brings those up as well, slip there, throwing the sidekick. But if he brings those heavy punches up to the head, it only takes one shot. Nyaku showing that front leg sidekick. We know their team has a, a background in Sanda. And that's the fun thing about K1. You can see different kickboxing styles. Nice knee from Smith. Clinch. Yes, you're going to be warned for that, Chris. He held on to it far too long, Diaku. Oh. Switch kick there from Smith. Leading with that push kick, flying in there for the knee. And then again, the body shots from Diaku. And as we saw with the previous Cypriot fighter, looking for the opportunity to get the punches going when he gets inside he has to work at that range and he has to work every opportunity because he's not going to get them very often and smith has cracked him a couple of times with some knees a couple of push kicks there turning the the ball of the foot up into the midsection i think a very good couple of connections here the cypriot is not showing it but they are landing malcolm and landing with power yes the knees especially chris and as i said what diaku has to keep doing is what he's trying to do is once that gap is closed throw those bombs of punches either to body or head because he's breathing heavily now as you said from those kicks and those knees and they're coming through once more dangerous times for Diaku and he must keep working though when when Jordan closes the gap Diaku has to work head kick there from Smith blocked by Diaku knee to the midsection he's going to get a warning there about the clinch The action resumes. Smith now southpaw. Open stance. Left foot forward, please. Right foot forward. Yes, acknowledge the warning from the referee that it must be just one knee in the clinch. Smith looks very composed. Even moving backwards there. Just caught the kick. Redirected it. Was looking for the shot. Going to get a warning again. Could be a point. I think this will be at least the last time Pete Richardson reminds him. Yeah, I think you're right. It's going to be a final warning this time. Jordan listening to him, but Peter saying, when I mean break, you must step back cleanly and break. I think overall a very controlling round 
for Jordan Smith, Chris. Um, we saw the technique he's using to break his opponent down. For me, for Diaku, if we watch the replays here, Diaku has to, when he's inside, just work those hands heavily as he can because he's going to be on, on the receiving end of this for most of the bout otherwise. Yeah, Smith really using footwork, using a very relaxed approach, and I think also, for me, chaining together the close-range attacks and the long-range attacks. Smith did not allow him that opportunity. While he moved forward at distance, he threw punches, kicks, knees. When he came in at distance and was in close, he also threw knees to get himself and push himself away. I think that made him less available to being hit, which of course might have been a lesson he learned in his last bout. Well, I, I think I've just got a gut feeling that the knees are the key to this. I can see a knee stoppage for Smith unless Diaco gets those hands going. This is what he needs to do, is he needs to exploit every opportunity to get his boxing going. He's outgunned in the other departments, but he is strong with his boxing, and he needs to make that work for him at every opportunity, because I feel a couple more of these knees sinking in will really slow him for the finish. So Smith moving forward, Diaco on the back foot. Looks like a little cut there for Nicholas. He's got some heavy hands on the inside, though. You can't really take too many risks. That's and what Smith he knows this. Smith knows this. Smith is not getting greedy here. He's resetting, I think, at the right times, and that's an important thing. You're an aggressive guy, you're young, you're athletic. Smith is clearly very talented, but it's that education that you get. And uh, for me, I think that uh, it's put him in a good place moving into the second. Small cut, not sure how bad it is. It's the side of the eye. Um, it, we, it all depends whether the blood is actually running into the eye, how wide the cut is, how big the cut is. This could be it. This could be it. Or are they gonna they're gonna work on it, the corner. Pete Richardson and of course our head uh, doctor here having a good gander. What Pete's saying is you can you can grease him up after the bell. He's gotta get to the bell before that happens. Touch of gloves. Smith again now, continuing to push the pace. Work Diaku into the corner. Step low kick to a 1-2-1-2 one, two, one, two from Diaku. Holding on. Very smart. Gets the yes, break. It is smart, but there's the knees. The danger for Diaku for me. Smart by Smith. Grabs the clinch, throws the knee, releases, throws the knee again. Knee for the third time from Smith. And Diaku threw that right hand to the body, but it's not enough. Smith forging forward now. Short little knee from Diaku. He's game, he's gutsy. He's outgunned at the moment, but these are the dangers for him. These big knees from Smith, especially with that cut. And the clock is running as Smith pushes the pace here. I love it. Again, into the clinch, pushes away to release. Diaco looked to his corner there, bewildered. As I said to you, the knees coming through. And Smith was clever. He, he let go and released. So the second knee was actually not within the clinch. Slips there as he throws the punch. And Diaku went back to the corner, put his arms up as to say, I'm taking a break while I can get it. That cut opening up a little bit more here. Yes, they'll hope to work on it in the corner at the end of the round. And there's his opportunity. That's the one chance for him, these big, booming punches. And Jordan Smith has got a slight cut over the left eye as well. It's not nowhere near as bad as Diaku, but it is bleeding. So both men cut in this bout. Good punches here from Smith. Smith stepping into that jab. Again, that right knee doing the dirty work. Attacking the midsection, holding on now to a single leg takedown is Nicholas Diaku. He is tired. It's that body work is paying dividends, Malky. Stole is, the Chris. words. That's what's happening there. But I said um, Jordan's been cut as well. It's been a hard, hurtful bout, but he's slowly but surely dismantling Diaku. That southpaw stance is working for Smith, that left head kick. Although there's coverage from Diaku, that coverage will not be enough. And there's going to be the count now, so this is a big, big round for the red corner. Make that a 10-8 round. Diaku says he's good. That is the end of six minutes of competition. Especially with those knees, all the work to the body. Is beginning to pay dividends and then because of that as you rightly said earlier it allows him to open up with the boxing as well 
which makes it a tough night's work. And there's the count coming in. Now, as I said, unbelievably, Jordan has got a small cut over the left eye as well. It was nowhere near as bad as Diaku, but he'll do well to survive this third round, I feel. Co-main event here at Next Generation Combat 4, and what a night. What a night of clash of styles. A night of gutsy performances from every single athlete. And Malcolm, for me, I think the big difference is Smith's just got to keep sticking to what's working. Diaku is dangerous. He's dangerous at all times, even when he's caught, even when he's tired. If he gets caught by one of those punches, it could be a, a, a risk not worth taking. And you've got to make those choices. And for me, Smith doing a great job here. Cut, oh, that's it. Um, he did the work in the previous two rounds. TKO. They've thrown in the towel there. Um, referee Peterson saying they can't stop the cup. And I, do you know what I think with the work that was coming in, I think that's a, a compassionate call.